All right, Shalom, Israel. Hope you're having a wonderful evening. Um, today, I'm going to read to you in the first, the first epistle of Clement to the Corinthians. All right. And this is going to be in chapter 1. Uh, the summary says, He commands them for their excellent order and piety in Christ, in Yeshua, before their schism broke out, before their division broke out. All right, so this was um, an epistle of Clement to the Corinthians, the Israelites, right? So... We're in chapter 1, verse 12. It says, Ye contended day and night for the whole brotherhood, the complete brotherhood, Israel, that with compassion, with love, and a good conscience and a good mind, the number of his elect might be saved. Okay. 13, it says, Ye were sincere. It says, you were honest and without offense towards each other, Israel, not mindful of injuries or errors, wrongs, all and all sedition and schism, all right, division, was abomination unto you, Israel. 14, ye be well, you cried everyone his neighbor's sins, esteeming, encouraging, their defects your own all right 15 ye were kind one to another israel without grudging being ready to every good work every good action or deed and being adorned that means dressed with a conversation altogether virtuous and religious Ye did all things in the fear of the Most High, Ahia, whose commandments, whose laws were written upon the tables of your mind. Chapter 2, how their divisions began. It says, all honor, all respect and enlargement was given unto you, Israel, and so was fulfilled that which is written. My beloved Israel did eat and drink. He was enlarged and waxed fat. He grew fat and he kicked. From hence, from there came emulation and envy and strife and sedition, riots and persecution and disorder, war and captivity, imprisonment. Three, verse three. So they who were of no renown, no respect, lifted up themselves against the honorable and those of no reputation against those who were in respect. The foolish against the wise, the young men against the age, the old. All right. And um, I just wanted to start off there. All right, I'm going to speak about garments. Um, the understanding on how to deal with those who try to impose the idea that your righteousness is measured by your garments. All right, by what you put on. All right, so we're going to get into that. But first, let's start off. In Jeremiah 23 and 14, it says, I have seen also in the prophets of Jerusalem an horrible thing. He saw a, he saw filthiness. They committed adultery and walk in lies. They strengthen also the hands of evildoers that none doeth return, come back from his wickedness. They are all of them unto me as Sodom and the inhabitants thereof as Gomorrah. All right. So now let's, let's go into the garments, right? 
let's go to um, Zachariah. Let's get Zachariah. Okay. Zachariah 13 and 4. And it shall come to pass in that day that the prophets will be ashamed every one of his vision when he hath prophesied and neither will they wear a rough garment to deceive it says I'm going to read it again and it will come to pass it's going to happen in that day that the prophets will be ashamed disappointed every one of his vision and when he hath prophesied neither shall or will they wear a rough garment or a garment of hair to lie or to deceive okay um so we shall no longer wear rough garments to deceive or to lie um let's go to matthew Go to Matthew 23, and we're going to go to verse 23 and 1. All right. The Pharisees make border uh, broad their garments. All right. So it says, Then spake Yeshia, Christ, to the multitude, to the crowd, and to his disciples, saying, The scribes, and the Pharisees sit in Moses' seat. All therefore whatsoever they bid you observe. Whatever they tell you, observe. And that observe and do. See and do. But do not ye after their works, their deeds. For they say and do not. Okay. For they bind heavy burdens, all right, and, and grievous to be borne, to be carried, and lay them on man's shoulders, all right? So, for they bind heavy burdens, all right, labors, all right, troubles, and grievous to be borne, to carry, and lay them on man's shoulders, but they themselves will not move them with one of their fingers but all their works they do for to be seen of men all right they make broad their solitaries and enlarge the borders of their garments and love the uppermost rooms at feasts dinners parties and the chief seats in the synagogues, the churches, and greetings in the markets, and to be called of men, Rabbi, Rabbi, all right, teacher, teacher, all right. So the Pharisees make broad their garments, all right, and they want to be seen, all right. Let's go to Romans. All right. We all know people that want to be seen, right? Let's go to Romans 2, 28. Romans chapter 2, 28. For he is not a Jew or Israelite, which is one outwardly Israel or Yashurava. Neither is that circumcision, which is outward in the flesh in the body but he is a jew or an israelite which is one inwardly inside and circumcision is that of the heart of the mind or the spirit in the spirit and not in the letter whose praise is not of men but of the most high okay you want your praise to be of the most high and you know that you are the true Jew, you are the Israelite, all right, inwardly, okay.
Okay. Now let's go to Numbers fifteen thirty-eight. And again, this is those who try to impose the idea that your righteousness is measured by your garments, what you put on. All right. So let's go to Numbers. Let's get Numbers. And you know where we're going. 15 and verse 38. It says, Speak on to the children of Israel, Yashara, and bid them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments throughout their generations, and that they put upon the fringe of the borders a ribbon of blue. All right. So this is the law of fringes, it, Numbers 1538. All right. And um, you could precept that with Deuteronomy 22 and 12. Now let's go to John 1 and 17. John 1, 17, okay. Okay, it says, For the law was given by Moses, but grace and truth came by Yeshia Christ. Okay, Yeshia, my Savior, means my Savior, which we're talking about Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the black Christ. All right. So again, for the law or the commandments was given by Moses, but grace and truth came by Yeshia. Okay. Let's go to James. James. We're going to get James 2 and 10. James 2 and 10, it says, For whosoever will keep the whole law, the complete law, and still or yet offend in one point, he is guilty of all. Israel. So if you offend in one point of the law, you become an offender of the whole law. All right? And we know ain't nothing wrong with keeping the law. We can do all things that in Christ that strengthens us. He strengthens us. All right? So let's go to Ephesians. Ephesians. Six and twelve. I'm gonna start at twelve. It says, "For we wrestle not against flesh, okay, body and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual, um, or uh, wicked spirits, okay." Or spiritual wickedness in high places in heavenly places Israel wherefore take unto you the whole the complete armor of the Most High that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day and having done all to stand or having overcome all stand therefore having your lions girt about with truth and having on the breastplate of righteousness and your feet shod with the prep the preparation of the gospel of peace above all taking the shield of faith belief wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked all right and take the helmet of salvation protection and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of the Most High. And the word of the Most High is Yeshua, is Christ. 18. Praying always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit, and watching thereunto with all perseverance 
and supplication for all saints. And for me, that utterance may be given unto me, that I may open my mouth boldly to make known the mystery of the gospel. All right. So you must put on the whole armor of the Most High. Gird up your flesh, your body, with spiritual armor. Armor. All right. So don't strain at a gnat. Come together. Some people wear fringe or some people don't. But you still have to love one another, prefer one another. All right, Israel. All right, Shalom. Put on the full armor of the Most High. And that's the word of the Most High. That's Christ. Okay. The Ruach HaKadash. All right. Being filled with the Holy Spirit. Repent. Be baptized.